morning students i hope you all are doing well this is your grammar class and my today's topic is pronouns in this chapter we will learn meaning of pronouns and its kinds let's see what are pronouns first a word used in place of a noun is called a pronoun noun ke sthan par use hone wale words ko pronouns kaha jata hai for example prashant is singing here prashant is a noun if i say prashant is singing prashant is a good singer prashant won many prizes it doesn't look nice so to avoid prashant again and again we will say prashant is singing he is a good singer he won many prizes here he is pronoun that is using here in place of noun that is prashant here we have nine kinds of pronouns we will discuss them one by one let's start with number 1 personal pronouns personal pronouns are used in place of name of a person kisi person ke naam ke sthan par use hone wale pronouns ko personal pronouns kaha jata hai for example mr gupta is a teacher he teaches english rekha is a good girl she is intelligent here he stands for mr gupta and she stands for rekha so he and she both are personal pronouns because they are using here in place of names of persons whether it is mr gupta or rekha next is reflexive pronouns reflexive pronouns are in this the doer of the action is the receiver of the action i sing for myself here myself stand for i we often talk about ourselves ourselves stand for we next is emphatic pronouns emphatic pronouns are used for the sake of the emphasis emphasis on nouns or pronouns i myself sang this song he himself plays the football here myself and himself denotes emphatic pronouns because they both are adjoining with nouns i and he next is demonstrative pronouns demonstrative pronouns are used to point at object or objects they refer to means they point out specific someone or something for example this is a child that is a tree here this and that are demonstrative pronouns whether it is near or far or it may be singular or plural next is interrogative pronouns interrogative pronouns are used to ask a question jisme koi question pucha jata hai these pronouns are called interrogative pronouns for example what is your name who is sitting there here what and who are interrogative pronouns because they are asking a question on page number 21 and 22 i have solved some portion from grammar book for you look at part a you have to fill the blanks with correct personal pronouns aapko isme personal pronouns jo bhi fit baithta hai aapko fill karna hai first is who is that girl why are you looking at dash girl the answer will be her girl is a noun aur uska personal pronoun kya hoga her second i am talking to you please listen to dash please listen to me me stand for i next is i like that camera i am going to buy dash camera it's a thing so the answer will be it i am going to buy it okay students look at part b you have to fill the blanks with reflexive pronouns or emphatic pronouns whatever is required here 
In first sentence, my brother hurts dash while cutting the vegetables with a sharp knife. My brother. So, the answer will be hurts himself. Next is, the players carried the injured player dash out of the field. Players. So, the answer will be themselves. The players carried the injured player themselves out of the field. Next is, the girl dash drove the car up the hill. Girl. So, herself. The girl herself drove the car up the hill. Next is part C. In the same, you have to fill with demonstrative pronouns. The first is, Dash is the book I was talking to you about. This is the book. Second is, I have many shoes in my closet at home. I am thinking to donate some of dash shoes. That's why the answer will be these. To donate some of these. Next is part D. Write down the correct interrogative pronouns. Number one. Dash will give the correct answer. You have question mark at the end of the sentence. And interrogative pronouns you know better to ask a question. So, the answer will be who will give the correct answer. Next is dash is your book among these. Which is your book among these? Next is dash is wrong with this patient. What is wrong with this patient? Okay students, I hope you get all my work. Today I have taught you. I have some homework for you. You have to do remaining parts of part A, B, C and D on page numbers 21, 22, 23 and 24 in your grammar book neatly. Thank you. Have a nice day.